É Cyberpunk. Olá, pessoal. Estou muito emocionado para te convidar para esta exclusiva Xbox Store sobre o Black Market. Uma das locações em Dogtown que você vai poder explorar em Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Como você pode ver, Dogtown te convida com abertos abertos. Para te tentar? This is Black Market, a location where you as a player, as a mercenary, you can obtain unique cyberware and weapons, things that you cannot find anywhere in this world. Dogtown is a part of Night City, but has its own very distinct look and vibe. It's outside of the jurisdiction of NCPD, attracting all kinds of eccentrics and dangerous characters. Radical mods, Jim. Never seen anything like that on a non male stroller. Fuck, you mean this? Ain't seen nothing yet. Check this out. Or this year here. <laughs> we have put a lot of work into making the world feel more alive. Small scenes, secrets to find, Easter eggs. Make this place feel more vibrant and more believable. Maintenance accessories. But what's inescapable in Dogtown is Kurt. Hansen. Kurt is a leader of Borges Militia, who rules Dogtown of an iron fist. You've come to the right place. NCPD, gang wars, not in Dogtown. Taxes, who the fuck In Dogtown, I keep your business safe, as long as you abide by my rules. A really nice guy, as you can see. I thought so. The black market also is a place where you can find new illegal weapons and goods. They are some of the most powerful items in the world, but are often much more dangerous to use. A new cyberware capacity system, which leads you to push your body to the limit and give you new abilities to deliver more thrilling gameplay experiences, like the air dash or the ability to see the enemies through the walls or change your appearance to lose the heat. The Borgest is the authorities of Dogtown, and they are more dangerous than NCPD. When you as a player commit crimes in Dogtown, they are the guys who are going to chase you. We have completely overhauled the police system. All his actions are more believable, dynamic, and diverse. The team has been working passionately to deliver you more deeper, and meaningful experience, and I really cannot wait for you to find out more this September. See you in Dogtown. We're not done talking about CD Projekt Red's next dive into the story between V and Johnny just yet. In ah, parece fact, professor. We're here with the voice Muito professor. and stylings of Johnny Silverhand, Keanu Reeves himself. Welcome. Welcome, Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Likewise, well, Phantom Liberty introduces us to an entirely new location in Night City. It's, it's called Dogtown. It's this devastated place. It's controlled by a militia. But I think you know more about it than I do. So how would you describe it to players? Night City has its own kind of levels to it. And I think Dogtown is kind of going down to a darker place. Um, it's dystopian. It has a tension to it and this undercurrent of kind of violence, you know, like, and struggle, you know, Shh, can I swear? Yeah. Shit's gone down <laughs> <laughs> in Dogtown. Oh, I like that um, tagline. Yeah, and it's just, you know, I mean, hopefully it'll be fun for people to uh, to play there. It's hard to believe that there's an underbelly to the underbelly yes, that is Night good. City, yes, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. a little scared, but yeah. in a good way. No, it's a good way. <laughs> I mean, we're all kind of drawn to, we're all moths to the flame, mm -hmm. aren't we? And there's a lot of flame in Dogtown. Well, if anyone can take it on, it's V. So that certainly yeah. gives me the confidence. Yeah, V's a survivor. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You know? 
And we just saw a tour of Dogtown too, so we got a little bit of that oh, cool. ambiance and, and we can see what the environment is like. People Engraçado, né, mano? Eles colocam o Keanu Reeves como yeah, se fosse o diretor do jogo, né? Tipo assim, é uma peça yeah. muito fundamental, yeah. pai, a gente entende, tá ligado? Pô, legal, Keanu Reeves e tal, é, cyberpunk. Ah, mano, o cara aí não é diretor, não é, progra não é, não é programador, ele não é o cara que faz o roteiro. Ele é só o Keanu Reeves, tá ligado? E aí ela tá entrevistando o Keanu Reeves. Como se ele soubesse, sabe? De cada detalhezinho do jogo. I could see that. It's, I mean, Night City in general is the kind of place that breeds that kind of character. Yeah. Let's take a step back. Let's talk about Johnny as a person instead of this horrible person known as Colonel Kurt Hansen. I don't know about this guy, but people like Johnny. Johnny Silverhand. Because we know him to be because. opinionated. He's radical. We've seen that in Cyberpunk 2077 in the main campaign. But as we get to know him, he's got a sensitive side too. He can actually be quite caring. Oh, uh, that's what makes it so much fun. He is outspoken. He is a little grumpy, and he has a right to be. He's been used, he's been abused, he's been abandoned. And I think that through that kind of hardness of his outside, there is a vulnerability to him. And I think what's great about it is I, I get to play that character in so many different ways, and so the range of it is cool. And especially for the player, you get to see these moments and flashbacks. You start to understand he's a product of his upbringing, truly, of his surrounding. Well, let's not get carried away. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we can start talking about nature and nurture. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I keep dropping into Johnny. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I like, I like his anger. I like his passion. I like what he stands for. He's, he's really just looking for a fair shot. And I, I love that he's kind of going through music, that there's an artist side to him. And, you know, I got some great speeches. <laughs> <laughs> there's all these moments with Johnny where a tiny little thing, you know, elicits this really fun response. You can flip him off and he double birds you back. Like, I love those kind of moments. <laughs> Or rock. I think another interesting lens of, of looking at him as we get into Phantom Liberty is his dynamic with Solomon Reed. So what can you tell me about John Idris Elba's character? I think Solomon has some things in common with Johnny in the sense of the military, the sense of being used, abused. Um, you know, it's in the title, right? They're fighting for a liberty. You know, Solomon's kind of trying to reclaim his life, you know, and Johnny's doing the same thing. You know, it's Cyberpunk 2077, so it might start off as revenge, and it might end as revenge, but I think sometimes he feels like he's lashing out at the wind, you know? And I think Solomon has been living out in the kind of the desert of his life, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of hiding. And, harboring yeah but i think he also has that kind of soft and hard side to him as well so as somebody who's very familiar with thrillers because you've started in a few what do you think about phantom liberty makes for a good spy thriller in particular the quest to understand what's going on so and and the kind of scavenger hunt of information the mystery the double crossing, what is true, what's fiction, what can you count on, you can't count on anything. That is really kind of amplified. Well, thank you so much for coming out to another Xbox presentation. You've got a lot of fans out there in the Xbox community, so I think I can speak for all of us in saying we really appreciate you showing up here today. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, but before It's an I close honor to things be out, here. Yeah. <laughs> well, before I close things out, I'd love your help here, Keanu. How do you think Johnny would end this interview right now? Well, there's a lot of ways you could do that. But, uh, Tina? Pleasure to meet you. Oh, is that how Johnny would do it? Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Johnny. Nice to, such nice a, to see such you. Such a pleasure to have you. I, I thought you were going to kick down the camera or something, so. No, you see, he's respectful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's a good egg. 
Oh, thank you. You too. Yeah. And Obrigado, John. You John, you're too, Ren. Esse cara é porra. É o cara, é o cara, né, mano?